Hi everybody, this is Professor West, and in this section we're going to cover two things. First, I'm going to show you how to manipulate the text on the screen to make it look more um, intriguing and inviting and, and so forth. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you how you can print your documents. So let's jump right in. So first things first, um, I have a little fake flyer up here that um, is going to be for renting an apartment or a house or a condo. I think it says condo. And I'm going to show you, if you just had this up on the board, it wouldn't look very professional. It wouldn't look very inviting. People probably wouldn't even notice it. So here's some things you can do. First, like I showed you before, you can highlight. Let's, let's start at the top. And I'm going to come over to where my mouse changes to the pointer and click so that it um, affects the whole line. And I'm going to come to home in the home tab um, the ribbon for that and I'm gonna come over here to where it says the font size this is the font type Calibri or Calibri however you want to say it and this is the font size so let's start by changing that so if you click on it look at what happens if I point to it it changes to that size so this will be what size it is if I chose 9 it's on 11 now if I go 18 24, 36, 48, 72, and you can go further than that. That's not all. If I wanted to, I could simply click in that box and type in what size I want. Let's say I want 100. And now it's that big. And of course with it highlighted, you can also change the font color. Let's make that a little, little more inviting. So I'm going to come up here and these all deal with, um, or these right here deal with the font colors. This is the actual color of the letters and this is the color of the background behind the letters. So let's start with this one. If I just click this right here it's going to turn it red. See? If I click this little drop down beside it I get a bunch of choices. And I could choose any of these colors. See how it's showing you what color it would look like? I can choose any of these colors I want. Or if I don't like any of these colors I could come down where it says more colors and click that and I can actually make a color by choosing some combination here and you can also go to custom and really get into it and choose so I'm not gonna get too much into that because there's not really a reason for it um, let's see let's try let's try something that might catch somebody's eye maybe a reddish you know I'm just gonna leave it as red why not so it says for rent and then maybe I want to change the the address size a little bit and see the um, hover bar or whatever comes up here so I could choose these off of there but I can also still choose them from up here so I'm gonna show you this see how this one is a A with a little up sign and this one is down this is gonna make it bigger and I bet you can figure out what this one does makes it smaller so you can do that or you could go in and choose the number but see how the number changed now it's 20 22 however you want to do it it's totally up to you and for this one let's see now I'm going to maybe I want to make where it says available July 18th I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna show you another neat little feature here See this one where it's a capital A and a lowercase a? You can click that and it lets you either choose all lowercase, all uppercase, capitalize each word, do the opposite of capitalizing each word, or use sentence case, which is you know just kind of how a sentence normally appears. So if I choose uppercase, now it's all uppercase. If I choose toggle case, now it tries to do it backwards, but for some reason it didn't really do that one. I don't know. Um, if I want to choose capitalize each word, puts it back like that. And let me show you another one. I'm going to highlight this last line. So let me highlight it, or select it rather. And then this one here is called the highlighter tool. See how when you when you point to it, it says text highlighter color. You can pick any color you want. This will give it a green background, a light blue background, yellow. It's the same as running a highlighter over it in a textbook. So all these things you can do 
Um, let me try something here in the middle. I'm going to do the garden combo. And I've already showed you on a different video, but you can choose bold and underline and whatever you want. And then just for kicks, I'm going to highlight all these lines together. And when you come over to this section, these right here choose how it's arranged. This is left align where everything starts at the left. This one is center and then this one is right align. So if I do center, everything goes down the center of the page. If I choose right align, everything lines up on the right. Since this is a flyer, I would probably choose the center. And since it's I've got plenty of space, I would probably make these bigger. So that would give my flyer a lot more pizzazz. You can also do text effects if you want. Let me uh, do that real quick. And you can choose how to have it look like one of these if you'd rather. That's not really as eye-catching for a flyer because, you know, it just doesn't really look as eye-catching, but um, it certainly would give you the ability to do some different stuff so you can play around with these and see how you like it but practice with it you know there's nothing you can do that's wrong so just have some fun with it so I think I've covered most of the important stuff on this one that, right off the bat so let me remind you that you have the undo tool in case you want to go back and of course the redo tool and now that we're finished with that, let me show you how to print. So you go to File tab right up here at the top left. And you come down to the one that says Print. Now Print is going to do a couple things. First, it brings up this command that has all the stuff for the printer. But then it also shows you what your flyer is going to look like. Because in the window we were working on, maybe you couldn't really see it. Over here on the bottom, you can zoom in and out, make it bigger or smaller so you can see the whole thing or part of it or however you want to do it and then here this one lets you choose what printer this is the printer that I currently have set up but if you if you click the list if you have other printers that are connected or available you can choose any of those you can tell it how many copies you want to make maybe you want to make 10 copies maybe you want to make one you can come down here where it says printing all pages that's the default but you could go through and say that maybe you only want to print a certain number of pages. So let's say I want to print pages 1, 5, and 7. I would do 1, comma, 5, comma, and 7. Of course, it's not going to work on this one since it's only one page. But I'm just saying that this was like a 20-page document. Or let's say you want to print 1, 5, and 7 through 11. Well, instead of a comma, you would put a dash. So that would tell it to print pages 1 page 5 and page 7 through 11. And if I just wanted 7 through 11, then I would delete the others. I would just have 7-11. Like I said, it's not going to work with this because it's only one page, but still. You can tell it to print on both sides of the paper. You can tell it to print one side only. That's my default. I like that the best. Um, but that way it could print. You could save some papers if you double up. Sometimes that makes it a little harder. You could tell it to collate them however you want so you could um, do portrait or orientation which is the way it is now or you could tell it landscape which is see how the pages here that one's tall and that one's wide <clears throat> if I had a lot of wide stuff on here I might go landscape you have a whole lot of choices you can tell if right now mine's on a standard 8 by 8.5 by 11 inch paper which is standard paper but if you had legal paper or something like that there's a whole lot of choices here that you could choose so you can get the right paper for the right job depending on what you're doing you can choose normal margins the margin is the part right here between the paper and where everything starts so right now it's on normal you can tell it narrow you see how it shows you here what it would look like you can choose narrow and then it would take less room from the top and the sides I'm gonna go back to normal because I don't want to mess up my future printings because I will forget and one last thing that I want to show you when you're choosing the printer, you can also choose, let's see, right here where it says Microsoft Print to PDF.
If I click this, instead of going to the printer, it's going to turn my Word document into a PDF file and then let me save it on my computer. So um, that can be incredibly useful. Um, just the other day I was sending a resume someplace and I had a Word document for my resume and they require a PDF file. So all I had to do was come here, tell it to change it or save it as a PDF. It's, it leaves the original Word document alone. So I've still got that also, but now I have a PDF version and I can send on the PDF. So there's a lot of reasons you might want to do that. Um, I've written several books and they, they had to also be um, changed into PDF. So anyway, um, that's it for printing. And I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.